Um, today we will be discussing Bernoulli's theorem demonstration. Next slide, please. The Bernoulli's equation was derived by Daniel Bernoulli and is based on Newton's second law of motion and Euler's equation of motion. It is also assumed that the flow of the fluids is frictionless, steady, and incompressible when using Bernoulli's theorem. For this experiment, the duct of the apparatus used this flat, so the fluid doesn't have a vertical elevation. Next slide, please. The objectives of the experiment is to determine the validity of Bernoulli's theorem as applied to the flow of water in a tapering circular duct, to determine the relationship between the probe distance and the total pressure and velocity heads, to determine the relationship between the experimental and theoretical values of other data parameters. Next slide, please. For the results and discussion, these are the definition of terms used in the experiment. Next slide. So these are the values for density and temperature that will be used to obtain the other parameters needed for the experiment. Next slide. So this is what we use for the data of the diameter of flow section and the distance of tapping from the center line for trials one to six. Next slide, please. These are the obtained values for the manometer and probe manometer levels for the first data set. Thanks. This is uh, the manometer and probe manometer level values for the second data set. Next. And this is the Manometer and probanometer levels for the third data set. And lastly, this is the manometer and probanometer levels for the fourth data set. So uh, this is the other data that we have obtained through calculations that we will be needing for the other parts of the experiment. So the following slides will be the and calculated data for the for all the data sets and uh, the pressure head and velocity velocity head and total head will be obtained in this table. The following, the following um graphs showcase <coughs> showcase the different figures, um with figure one being theoretical <coughs> versus experimental total head. Next slide. Uh, figure two with the theoretical versus the experimental velocity. Figure three with pressure head versus probe distance. Next slide. Figure four being the total head versus probe distance. Next, next slide. And figure five being the experimental velocity versus probe distance. Um, what we've determined with the first five figures is that there doesn't seem to be any correlation between the 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 different factors. But with figure six, we were able to we were we were able to determine a correlation made for the for the for the theoretical head and the probe distance and they have a strong relationship since <clears throat> you, and you can see in the graph that they have a strong an inverse relationship next slide yeah so we yeah, are findings where the probe distance increases the higher the experimental total head value steers away from the theoretical value Next slide. Um, yeah, the, uh, as I said, uh, next slide. Next slide. <laughs> oh yeah, although the data above was given calculated through the sign ID number, 
um, there is still possible some of the main to explain the different discrepancies, such as air bubbles, such as possible air bubbles, if if the experiment were to be taken place in real life, along with possible leaking during the experiment. And for our conclusion, um, the results show the reading of each manometer tube increases when the pressure difference increases. From the results obtained, we can conclude that Bernoulli's equation is valid for convergent and divergent flow, as bo both of it does a braid equation. And for both flows, as the pressure difference increases, the time taken also increases as well as the flow rate. And finally, therefore, as the, as the velocity of the channel increases, the total head pressure also increases for both convergent and divergent flow. For the recommendations, the group recommends the use of a more complicated piping system that has more components, the use of different, different pipe sizes, and to ensure that precautions are made before and during the experiment to, to ensure more accurate data. That's all. Thank you.